So, teacups, right? Coming back, double hand, just lightly rubbing the body, relax the shoulders. Right? So, teacups only have two basic movements, forward and backwards, forward and backwards. But they have a lot of variations within the forward and backwards, depending on what you're trying to develop, what skills, uh, what you need, more, maybe more muscle, joint therapy. Uh, maybe more spiral movement. Uh, maybe you're trying to improve um, the strength and flexibility of your wrist, so you say really emphasize this movement right here. Okay. You want um, want more fingers, then you can move each fingers separately, right? Opening yeah. each yeah. finger separately, opening and closing. Right, so a lot of variations. But no matter what you do with your palms, you notice your shoulder blades are doing the same thing. Okay, so teacups. So a lot of times the most important exercise is the most subtle exercise. Right? It's, it's like everybody climbing to the mountaintop. What's the secret of life? <laughs> How much energy did you expend to bother the guy trying to meditate and getting away from the world? <laughs> so listen to yourself, listen to your body. Are you comfortable? If it's not comfortable, modify your movements, right? Smaller movements, bigger movements, turn your waist. Okay, and then come forward. So fingers up. Turning out, back, and through your waist. Relax your hip, relax your spine. Right? Everything has movement, everything has circles, everything has vibration. Doing two hands tends to restrict the movements a little bit, but later on you could find that you could actually do a lot of turning in two hands. Focus on relaxing your shoulder joints, relaxing your elbow, stretching your palms, stretching your fingers. Okay, and then come backwards again, back, double hand, one, two, and three. And then we're going to come up, go forward, one, two, and three. Okay, and then we'll go backwards again, double hand, one, two, three, and forward, one, two, three. Okay, so find those nice patterns and rhythmic patterns. And just pause for a little while, and then one hand, left or right, going back, Start turning your waist. Now turn your waist to the backhand. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. Constant turns. Yeah. Loosen up your waist. Loosen up your hip. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to switch to the other hand. So just light pause, take your time and switch to the other hand. Turn the waist. Relax the shoulders, relax the joints, and turn the waist. As you turn the waist, relax the arms. As you turn the wrist, you just feel how it whips the arms around for you. Okay, and do one more and then a light pause and switch hands and come forward. So rising, then turn the waist. 
That first movement, it's really important to turn the waist right here. Turn the waist. So it's turning the waist that moves the hand for you. And the palm just has to rotate. Turn, 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 and turn. Right? Turn, 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 turn. Keep the shoulders down. Keep the elbows down. Right? Turning, right? turning. Turning, turning, and turning. Yeah. I really, I really like the um, this forward movement. As you can really see this spiral coming out. Right? It's kind of screw turning as you come out. Yeah. Then when you're ready, just switch hands. Yeah. Just go to the other side. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, keeping the elbow and shoulder down, relaxing. Almost leading with the fingertips, right? Turning from the center, but just leading with the fingertips. Doing a little pause and switching hands. Okay, so go one, create a pattern, two, three, and then we're going to switch hands going back. <coughs> one, two, three, and then we're going to switch hands, go forward. One, two, three, and switch hands. Rising, turning the waist, one, two, three. Okay, and return back to the pattern, one, two, three, switch hands, one, two, three, switch hands, rising, one, two, three, turn your waist, turn your body. You in the blue shirt, turn your body. <laughs> the blue striped shirt, turn your body. <laughs> and switch hands back. One, relax your mouth. Switch, one, two, three and switch drop your shoulders drop your elbows and switch okay and relax shake it out shake it out yeah so as you're coming up here this tends to bind so you have to drop and relax and just rotate Rotate around the wrist and the forearm, and as you're coming back, this just has to come down. Right? If you pull too far back, it binds. So turn your waist. Yeah, turn your waist and just let it scoop. Okay, and that'll start to stabilize your shoulder and your hip. Okay, so yeah. if you feel your own patterns coming out, hey, just just do your own patterns. That's fine. Okay, so we start back one two, three, okay, other hand, one, two, three, other hand, one, two, three, other hand, rising, one, two, three, okay, we start again, going back, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then rising, one, two, three, other hand, rising, one, two, three. Okay, and light pause, shake it out. Okay, so right hand back, Left hand forward, right? Teacup, teacup, 
and turn your waist all the way and teacup and teacup and come out. Okay? Teacup, teacup, turn the body, teacup, teacup, turn the body. Right? One, turn, turn, t palms turn through the body. Right? Palms turn, turn the waist, palms turn, one at a time or together, right? whatever coordination is coming out for you. Just take your time, elbows bent, shoulders down, one more time, one hand back, one hand forward, turn, make sure you turn the waist, teacup, teacup, and come back to center. Okay, and switch. Go the other way. One hand, opposite hand forward, opposite hand back, turn, turn, turn the waist, teacup, teacup, through the waist. Teacup, teacup, turn, drop your shoulders, drop your elbows, and then the turns will start to come out. So if you adjusting your shoulders, your elbows, so that they sit, right? The turning and relaxing, it's like letting a knot untie by itself. If you relax, if you try and force it too much, yeah, then it's, it's, it's hard to um, get these movements to come up. But that's just the progress of learning, right? Mechanically learning, what are they doing, and then letting go. Okay, come back to center, and then switch. One, just take your time, and then switch, okay? So try and switch each one. And then switch. Just take your time, and study the movement, and switch. <laughs> oh, I miss these times when we have 30 students at Lanakila and we're speeding up. And oh, you just see the heat and the sweat coming out. <laughs> so whenever we get back to those classes, oh, we're going to have to do, do teacups, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> when you get confused, just come back to the center. Yeah, just come back to the center. Just review what the basic movements are at any time. Yeah, okay. All right, shake it out. <laughs> okay, so grab something. Yeah, and if you, you can switch hands or leave with right hand. So anything you have, just just grab something to hold in your hand. It can be a stick, can be a can be a um, chopstick, anything. Just grab an implement. Um, hmm? yeah. Instead of drop. Yeah. Okay. So light, whatever you're grabbing, yeah, can be anything, anything. Yeah. Yeah. So anything. Um, just lightly, loosely, right? Loosely holding. Um, so stick whatever you want, okay? And then just gently do the teacups with whatever you're holding. Oh, it can be back scratcher, anything, right? Kids toys, yeah, doesn't matter, PVC stick, just something to hold. But notice how you have to turn your waist. Really relax and drop all your joints and just do the teacups. Just do the teacups, yeah? Just switch hands when you're ready. Or you could do one hand holding something, one hand open. Yeah. Just do the teacups. Okay. Go both directions. Okay. Because you're holding something, you just kind of naturally have to keep that further out away from you. 
but you can feel how whatever you're holding changes your palms a little bit, changes the rotation a little bit. Okay. So if you're whacking yourself, then you're not turning your waist enough. Okay. Turn your waist. If you're whacking yourself, you're trying to force the open hand movement a little. Yeah. Yeah. So as you as you pass the implement from left hand to right hand to left hand, it's it's also teaching you that transition, that transformation. How to smoothly switch hands, right? Change directions. So after a while, you do the drills automatically, you're, you create your own drills, but you don't get stuck to the drills. You free yourself from the drills. Yeah. Feel how the center has to rotate, right? So turning, 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 turning. Every time you turn, there's a little whip that comes out. If you relax, you can feel you can feel how that affects your arms. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, relax the shoulders, relax the joints. Just let it flow. Just let it flow. Change direction. Make the circle bigger, smaller. Extend. Right. You have to kind of play with what you're doing. To, to discover what you can and cannot do. Yeah. So, on your own, right, you just uh, play with different things. I don't want to whack my girlfriend. Right. So, something a little longer. Right, same thing, I have to really relax. Yeah, this is kind of interesting because I have the little um, adapter here, yeah? That little right turn, so it allows my hand to rest. And because my hand rests like a cane, like if I use the cane, then my grip can be really relaxed because this little hook helps to keep, keep it in place, helps to keep it rotate. So yes, if I had a cane, I could use that. Yeah. So, yeah, I would love to see one of my seniors beat somebody up with their cane. <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody who's getting smart with them. You know, not just going out picking a fight. <laughs> using different implements, different lengths, right? And then you look around your house, what do you have? Any Anybody going walking? When you go walking, right? Are you holding a stick, an umbrella, a cane, something, right? If you're not, you just walk and start doing teacups. And then you just let it feel how it merges with the rhythm of your walk, your left, right, left, right, turning the waist. But um, we haven't done it for a while. We were really doing a lot of walking. I, I carry the umbrella. And yeah, I'm just doing little sword drills with the umbrella as I'm walking. Right? And it becomes natural. So as you're walking, right, if, as long as you're not walking by other people and, and such, you start doing the teacup drills with whatever you have. Take some time, find a shady spot. You can just do do the drills and come out. Yeah. So even in the chair, right? So even in the chair, I'm closer to the I'm closer to the ground. Right. So a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to hit the ground here, so I have to lift my shoulder blade up. Still have to be able to clear everything. You have to have that awareness. Right? How big or where is the circle I'm making? Still the teacups. 
I have to make small circles rotating my wrist, rotating my wrist, coming out here. Or let it go over the head, right? turning the waist. You can really start to feel how turning the waist is so important to the movements. All right, I got all kind of, I got my table on this side. I have to clear my table, right? So I have to drop down. Oh, st stab myself. <laughs> Rotate, as I'm coming through, I'm rotating my wrist. So as I'm coming through, that's the teacup. I'm, I'm rotating my wrist. That keeps that nice and straight coming out. Yeah. So... Oh, challenge, right? Oh, can I use this one? This is, I don't know, three, uh, maybe about three feet. Just carefully clearing teacups. Just taking my time, right? just watching what I'm doing, making sure I don't take out my ceiling. And doing the left and right is a really good exercise. It feels different right? when you do the left hand and right hand, especially holding something. Sometimes your mind gets really confused, like, is this right? So you just have to take your time and work, work through it. Oh, just whack my head. <laughs> you keep my hand up. Yeah. So it helps you create that spatial distance, that um, spatial awareness of you. So um, like I said, this, this is a three-quarter inch PVC Schedule 40. Right? Um, the Schedule 40 is the thicker wall. Sometimes you find some of them with a really thin wall. You don't want that PVC. It's a little too flexible. But I find this 3 quarter inch is really comfortable to hold. I have the 1 inch around. And if you want that little cane effect, just buy the, buy the little joining pieces and kind of hooks it on the hand. Um, you can, to cut it, to cut it, you just invest in one of those PVC cutters and they work really well for anything below, um, from one inch and down definitely, maybe an inch and a half. When you start getting larger than an inch and a half, you gotta start moving to a um, saw. But it cuts really cleanly, you can just kind of sandpaper it down or you can put a cap on it, right? To make it a little safer, you can put, um, you can go with half inch pipe Right, little flexible, little lighter, and you can put the um, insulation pipes on it. Just make sure the insulation pipe is the right size. And like I was showing yesterday, if you want weight, right, if you want to build up your ligaments and tendons, and you want more weight, um, you want more of that anaerobic training, then I have the caps on these, and they're just filled with BBs. So BBs, sand, um, gravel, right? You can adjust how much weight you want in it. So something like this, I could do the teacups. Right? It's, it's light. If I use it as an exercise bar, um, just turning, right? right? That's going to add things. But if I do teacups, well, I have to, where am I going to hold it for the leverage? And then you just see, you just see the figure eight come out. Okay. So too heavy, use half a bottle, one bottle, bottle and a half. So easy to make. This is this is um, one inch pipe. This is this one is one inch pipe. It's very pretty comfortable to hold too. Okay. So yeah, easy to do. So for those of you who have swords, um, you have long stick. You, you can go outside, right? you, can, you can try it, you got something really long, right? you can try it going outside, you really have to relax, 
right? And then um, the interesting thing is you do teacups with these, and after a while you realize you're doing sword forms, right? So whatever you have at home, your fan, your stick, your walking stick, your back scratcher, your, your kid's wand, right? we're teasing about this. Right, that's that's the magic mirror. That's the magic wand for last night. It it doesn't it doesn't matter. And the more things you play with, then the more adjustment you learn. Right, the more comfortable you are, and then all of a sudden anything becomes an an exercise to an implement. Yeah. Okay. So just to review, um, teacups back and forward. Yeah? So you use the double as your warm up or your warm down back and forth, yeah, back and forth. You can just come on with your own drills. If you have kettlebells at home, or oh, light kettlebells, excellent for rehabbing the shoulder, building up strength. Yeah. Uh, weight balls, I have a two, three pound. You can hold, <clears throat> you can hold dumbbells. Yeah, you can hold dumbbells. Do do the dumbbells do, do it standing or seated? If you do standing, then of course your whole body is involved. But just take your time, loose grip, relax. Yeah. So teacup movement is an excellent movement for for all kinds of things for almost every everything. Yeah. Everything for the shoulder, body, turning. Yeah, I, sh I should be doing this a lot more. Okay. All right. Okay, so, yeah, let's just finish. Bring hand up. Stretch, let everything open up. Nice, deep, even breath. Slowly let everything go, falling back into place. Flowing into the ground. No restriction into the ground. No restriction. Gently close your eyes. Find your alignment. Expand and relax. Feet resting on the ground. Head lightly pulled up into the sky. Shoulders down. Shoulders relaxed. Just the abdominals, just the lower belly moving in and out as you breathe. As you finish, just rest your hands on your lap. Palms either face up or facing down. It's up to you. You feel the difference. Slowly open your eyes as you're ready. Yeah, rub your hands together, fingers in and out of each other. Relax. Just warming up the hands. Yeah, make sure the fingers go in and out. You're catching the side of the fingers. Yeah, just gently wiggle all the joints. Just gently wiggle all the joints. Make it a little closer. Yeah. So, you know, even for myself, I'm kind of thinking the arthritis is coming out. I mean, I'm, I'm in my 60s now. At certain times, certain fingers, certain joints that just persist, sometimes all day, all night long. So, thankfully, I'm doing these things now. Okay. All right. Cut the top of your head front to back. 
tap the back of your neck. And just your fingertips, drop your shoulders, and just pull at your fingertips. Relax your arms. Pull those muscles away from the bone. Turn your head side to side. Alternate two hands pulling, one hand pulling, up and down, turning. And just take your time. Just rest. Just let your hands rest. Um, one of the meditations to daily meditations the Reiki people um, emphasize is Gasho meditation. And um, I think I put a link on that on one of my pages. But Gasho is like prayer hands, yeah? And it's just meditating here. But the way I learned Gasho, so I want to share this with you, is really elbow, forearms together, and the thumb on the third eye. And um, the, the more the dedicated practice to it for the people who are really serious is they're going to hold this for an hour. But when you do this, you can feel how it opens up the shoulder blades and holding it you know, for a long period of time, it just stretches out the shoulders and starts to release all that tension from the neck down. It helps to release and let go of all that tension. So it's it's a it's a really nice practice and sometimes when I do my healing I'll just I'll just do one or two minutes. I tend to start with this because it also reveals my tension. So it tells me let go, relax, right? Before I start my healing, I wanna be aware of releasing my own tension right up here. All of our um all of our anxiety, all of our angst, right? We carry the weight of the world, right, on our shoulders. So we swallow things, everything is up here in our stomach. So doing gasha this way is, um, I like it, it's a lot more effective, it's a lot uh, deeper meaning, it relieves a lot. So I know some of the Reiki people, it's told that the Reiki people in Hilo you know, they train this like an hour every morning as they do their Reiki, it's part of their practice. So just something simple to share, yeah, from there. Okay, I'm going to turn off the recording and then I'm going to put my, uh, put my Bluetooth back on. So if you want to stay and talk story a little bit as I clean up.